What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, finally back with more of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise. Before we get into anything, clearly I need to explain what's going on. If you follow me on Twitter or Twitch, you may already know as I have tried to uh, be pretty upfront there, but I have been moving a lot over the last two weeks into a new house. I have finally moved, finally starting to get settled in, and on top of that, I've been working a lot. We're coming back into the busy season at my job. And all of that has unfortunately prevented me from making videos. On top of those issues, my computer has been acting up. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this video up. Um, I'm hoping that maybe my computer is starting to work after the move, but that's wishful thinking. If it does not, uh, I'm going to have to try to fix that, which could also put more time onto the delay of videos, unfortunately. Hopefully, I can do enough to get this video up without any issues. Um, but that's where I've been, guys. I haven't forgotten about y'all. I haven't quit the series or anything like that. I've just had a lot on my plate lately. But moving forward, we have advanced to the next round in waiting for us is the Baltimore Ravens, a very good team, a team that we are very familiar with as well. And it is not going to be an easy task for us. Can we do any... We do have game prep. I don't think we can do XP. Yeah, we can't do XP. We can only do confidence. Um, and we'll just let our team pretty much choose whatever they want to do with that. Um, yeah, it's probably just going to pick some of the... Some other guys that don't have great confidence already, which, you know, when you advance this far with such a great record, the majority of your team is going to have a pretty high confidence, and that has obviously helped us out quite a bit. So you can see all the guys there are locked up with their 99. So we'll do that and move forward on. Uh, obviously, this is going to be the news video for the last uh, week. We want to see who advanced after the divisional round of the playoffs. Now, look at the matchup. They have the 4th ranked offense. We have the 8th ranked. They have the 6th ranked defense. And we have the 5th ranked. So, very, very close game here. And despite our very good record, we really have not looked all that good this season. We've uh, squeaked away with a lot of wins that we probably shouldn't have gotten where we've won in the last minute. And so, despite our record, I definitely don't know that we can certainly count on that. Let's go ahead and check out uh, last week's game, see what is going on there. Uh, team schedule. No, I need to do league schedule. I don't know. I'm so rusty now. I'm so rusty. Um, the other issue I've had that a lot of you guys noticed in the last episode was my mic. I'm hoping that that was just because I was recording it in pretty much an empty room and the echo destroyed it. But I really don't know. Um, I'm definitely looking for a new mic soon. So if it is still bad currently, I apologize, guys. Um, I'm hoping to fix everything soon. So obviously, we beat the Broncos. We all watched that game. Uh, the 49ers lost to the Seahawks. Killing me, Niners. What is going on? Let's go ahead and check out the box score here. Uh, two touchdowns, one interception for Russell Wilson. Colin Kaepernick, two touchdowns with two interceptions. Wilson also getting about 41 more yards than Kaepernick on the day. Marshawn Lynch having a pretty good game. Toby Gerhardt leading the way for the Niners, 69 yards, giggity. And Isaiah Patton, all right, a third-year player here, uh, had two touchdowns, and he also had two fumbles, so kind of a boomer bust kind of player. He could cost the team a game, but clearly he was getting it done by finding his way into the end zone there, receiving the ball. Fabian Rogers, the second year player, 15 catches, 220 yards, and two touchdowns, torching the 49ers defense. This is a player we scouted quite a bit, and man, he is making us pay. Look at this, a monster game from him. Brandon LaFell, 11 catches, 164 yards, and one touchdown. Crabtree, six catches, 67 yards. Kenny Britt, five catches, 50 yards. But man, a huge game from Fabian Rogers here. Um, and there should be one more touchdown catch, and that is by Vernon Davis. Two catches, 11 yards for him. Let's go to defense here. Patrick Willis, I can't believe he retired. Leading the way, 12 tackles uh, with Bobby Wagner and Eric Reed both tied there. Sacks, let's check this out. Patrick Willis with the sack. Corey Lemonois and Jared Odrick also getting a sack. Interceptions, we know there's three here. Earl Thomas the third, Cam Chancellor, and Tremaine Brock. And last but not least, we'll check out fumbles forced here, see what's going on. Sylvester Williams out of North Carolina with the fumble forced and a fumble recovered. And Patrick Willis with the fumble forced there as well. Uh, moving forward to the next game after they break my heart, 49ers doing it again. Uh, the Ravens are going to beat the Patriots here. And the Patriots uh, with their new quarterback, three touchdowns, one interception, 389 yards, 500 and 37 yards for Joe Flacco, five touchdowns, one interception. How in the world 
does he have a better quarterback rating? Uh, I know I butchered his name last time we played, and I know what it is, but I can't think of it right now, and I'm not going to look it up, so I'm just going to avoid saying it. <laughs> uh, he had a better completion percentage and more yards per attempt. That would be why, but a monster game from Joe Flacco tearing the Patriots' defense apart. C.J. Spiller leading the way for the Ravens, 14 carries for 56 yards. Uh, definitely a player we're going to have to look out for. Uh, Tamarcus Easton, 14 carries, 49 yards, and Shane Green, 13 carries with 45 yards. A few fumbles here. Two touchdowns by Jeremy Hill now on the Patriots to Marcus Easton with the touchdown. Danny Woodhead with the touchdown and C.J. Anderson with the touchdown for the Patriots there. Fumbles. We have two by Tamarcus Easton and Shane Vereen receiving. Uh, Torrey Smith, welcome to the 49ers, baby. 13 uh, catches, 211 yards, 16.2 yards uh, per catch and two touchdowns on the day. Victor Cruz has three touchdowns so all five of Flacco's passes went to those two guys Steve Smith senior also getting it done though 11 catches 137 yards and look at this Bolden 137 yards look at those 49ers receivers in real life tearing it up two touchdowns for him as well and Aaron Dobson is going to reel in a touchdown pass and that would be it for that let's check out defense really quick Mayo leading the way with 16 tackles uh, Terrence Brooks with 11 Goldson with 11 Harmon with 11, and Mosley with 10, man. A whole lot of tackles going down in this game. Uh, sacks, Mark Bailey uh, had the only sack of the day, and Sean Smith with an interception. DJ Hayden, the former Raider with an interception, and Forrest also getting an interception, the second-year cornerback uh, for the Ravens. And I feel like he was injured last year when we played him. No, it was the other guy, so we did play him. I think he had a pretty good game against us, if I'm not mistaken. One last game to check out, guys, and then we will be moving forward. And that is the Eagles and the Saints. Uh, the Eagles are ooh, the Eagles are going to escape with a 26 to 20 victory here. Uh, Nick Foles, uh, 211 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Drew Brees, 216 yards, no touchdown, one interception. Very interesting. Neither of them threw a uh, touchdown. In the game, Shady McCoy, 26 carries, 105 yards, a touchdown and a fumble. Andre Ellington, a uh, touchdown and a fumble. And Torrey House, a touchdown for the Saints. Uh, Timothy Easton had 56 yards on 15 carries. Receiving the ball, James Jones, 8 catches, 82 yards for the Saints. Zach Ertz, 8 catches, 71 yards. Obviously, we have no touchdowns here on the day for the receiving core. Let's check out the defense. Vaccaro leading the way. Vaccaro, I'm sorry. 11 tackles, D, uh, Delincey Miller, the second year uh, player for the Eagles with nine tackles. He was a monster last year, I remember that all too well. And uh, we're gonna have to pay attention because we might be seeing the Eagles again, guys. Uh, sacks, no sacks on the day, interceptions. Uh, Bird with an interception, Ahmed Monroe. Now he was hurt last year, if I'm not mistaken, in the Super Bowl, and Melvin White. Uh, for the Eagles getting interceptions. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for the patience. Um, I'm going to do the best I can to get into a more consistent schedule again. But again, my work schedule's really increased in the summertime for those of you who have been around that long since last summer. And I hope this computer will let me get this video up. Uh, it's really been struggling lately, and I don't know what to do to fix it. I'm either going to have to fix it or get a new one, and I don't know how long it's going to take me to do either of those two things. So, guys, I do appreciate the patience. I'm doing the best I can, and I will see you all next time. Later.